I What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Opti Bottoms coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at a 1 6 scale kit to create something that, for some reason, official companies have not made. That being a 1 6 scale Logan. In my opinion, easily the best of all X-Men related movies that we've ever gotten. And why Hot Toys has not made one of these figures is completely beyond me. But a couple different companies went ahead and made some parts for it so that you can put one together and basically make one yourself. And I'm really very impressed. Enough that I wanted to do this video to show you guys where you can get it and how it can actually look. Now there are basically two companies in play here. One which creates the body as well as the outfit is uh, Ganghood. The other one being, uh, I think it's just 11. It doesn't show like the number 11, it's the word 11. But they've created the actual portrait, which is, in my opinion, phenomenal. Now, we're going to take a closer look at that here in a bit. But starting off first with the body, um, it is just, well, a naked body, but it is a 1-6 scale body. Now, this little uh, nub right here is actually part of this. When I pulled it off, that whole thing came off. One thing that I will say, though, is that I feel like the neck is a little bit too long and trying to get everything to peg in there was very problematic. So I actually did do a little customizing myself. I just trimmed a little of the kind of top of the neck off. One thing that you're seeing though is that it's also in addition to, I guess, kind of how narrow this whole section is, this is a little bit big and you can see in rotating the head around, it kind of wears that off. Now it's not that bad because the neck comes down and kind of covers it up, so it's not bad. I mean, you could just say it's battle damage or something, but overall, uh, pretty solid body one thing that always bothered me and I'll, I'll do a more full-on comparison when we get it here is my official Wolverine figure from Hot Toys this is from the Wolverine movie you can see well I guess I can just come up here while I have them out here, I can kind of show it. Uh, but you can see that there is a much bigger difference in terms of the bulk of this body compared to the official Wolverine figure. Uh, you can see the arms are much bigger. Obviously, you got some more hair on there, which does look a little bit better, I think. Uh, because I'm going to have the suit on him, it's not something that bothers me really that much. But it, it bulks up his arms, which looks much nicer in clothing. Uh, same thing with the chest. I mean, you can see just how kind of skinny he is uh, getting this up I mean you can lift this up and here let lift this and we'll pull this all the way off we're going to strip down Logan so again you, you can see the color difference here uh, is obvious um, but it, it it doesn't bother me because it's not gonna really be seen too much but you can see how skinny uh, this body is and I, I don't feel like Wolverine should be that skinny I think that this is a much better kind of proportion for Wolverine I mean Hugh Jackman got huge for these movies and I think this just better represents his body you can see all the various articulation points are there uh, you do have a ball joint up here you also do have a little neck joint down at the bottom it is basically the exact same thing as the uh, Hot Toys true type body which is what primarily all their you know figures are based on off of the arms rotate you can they're a little bit stiff but you can rotate them out about that far uh, there is a bit of an armpit joint there he bends here only at one joint at the knee not a double joint which is unfortunate but it's not terribly bad uh, you do have the bend there rotates at the elbow you do have the ball joint here at the diaphragm you can also see some rubbing on that as well again it's not so bad because you're going to be covering him up with clothes you got the waist rotation you got hips that move forward and back kind of in and out that's a little squeaky this one not so much so i don't know what that's all about rotates at the upper part of the thigh both of them you do have two joints here at the knee that one's very squeaky this one's not so again i have no idea why it's like that uh, he also does come with these ball pegs very similar to the hot toys one they just plug in there and then they kind of hinge forward and back and then rotate uh, he also does come with feet i don't have them on here because i'm going to put on a pair of shoes but he does come with a pair of articulated feet you can see you got a ball joint right there so you do get a nice range of motion and then he also has toes which is pretty nice so that's uh, the body for the rest of it. Now, this is not specifically designed for Wolverine. You can use it for other figures. I think 
some people use that for bane and stuff as well so you do have these little pieces which are thigh extensions you can see these are the way that the thighs are and then um i think it goes like this you just slide this on and slide it up like that kind of position it and you can see it just thickens his thighs a, a little so uh, i don't think these are necessarily meant for this when i try putting the pants on it's a little bit too tight so i just left these off it, i think it looks perfectly fine as is so you do get you do get those extra little pieces as well uh, he also does come with several hands again now this is not meant to be wolverine uh, but looking at these hands these are uh, honestly almost identical to anything that i've seen uh hot toys create um it's kind of got like a holding hand maybe for a sword or something or a weapon uh some relaxed hands obviously this is a gun trigger hand uh he's got a fisted hand now because i have several wolverine figures already uh, i do have the claws now where i got this from it's one six kit uh, dot com uh, i reached out to them to possibly work with them and they actually told me no that they have an exclusive arrangement with someone else already so i i'm still doing the video uh but you know it is what it is they're they're not uh looking to get any kickback anything so but i mean i think it's the best place to get this stuff so it, it is what it is but uh you you can also pick up uh, hands that have the claws on there as i said i don't particularly need them because i already have them and for some reason these ones look like they're angling up a little bit aren't those don't those kind of look like they angle up a little bit maybe it's not so bad but they feel like these ones look like they go a little bit more straight and these ones that's kind of strange but uh these are from my wolverine figure as well so well, yeah that does feel a little bit oh okay well that's nice where you go hot toys <laughs> so you can have um you, you can remove these if you really want to that's kind of terrible if you ask me um but i can also probably fidget with those and get those to sit down a little bit lower I wonder if those are just like kind of yeah those are just kind of frictioned in there it's interesting i've never noticed that honestly before so that's kind of a weird thing but it is what it is i have claws for them so i don't need to pick those up like i said those are available uh, now also gang hood creates a suit for him uh, in the beginning part of the movie and through the majority of the movie he wears like his little chauffeur outfit um so you do have these some nice pants uh, they are i did kind of like rough them up a little and they come out very nice looking but i like wrinkling them because he looked very dirt dungy and i mean these aren't dirty or anything but if you wrinkle them up it gives it a good effect you get a nice belt on there i'm going to dress them as i go along here so just taking these and slide these down now like i said the thighs uh, just made it i mean there there is space in there but it just felt like they were too tight so i didn't really like that very much uh, the little zipper area here is just a piece of velcro straighten that on there then you have his belt so as i go along i'm going to be building this figure so you can see how it comes together so, so oh, and actually i probably shouldn't have done that just yet so i need to put his shirt on there so you do have his pants good detail uh, some nice pockets in there uh, you got the back pocket you got the side pocket here uh, so really nice tailoring on this i'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with it uh, he comes with an undershirt now i didn't bother putting it on him it doesn't really seem to do too much you can add it on but uh, it, it's just his little tank top it, it's a tank top you can put it on if you want it's honestly this is the uh, wolverine one this one is a little bit more padded so it's like they tried to bulk him up by just giving him a little bit padded of a shirt instead of giving him a proper size body but i do like that this is a little cleaner looking i i don't know this looks a little bit more worn and dirty so this might be a better option for you but i'm not even going to bother using this at all uh, then you get his dress shirt which again wrinkled out of the package which i like that look uh, it, it, it's also a little bit kind of off-white i know it's coming off very bright in 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 this so it's difficult to see but uh, i like that and again nice tailoring on there so sliding this on just kind of put his arms back like that and put his shirt on just like so just dress him up kind of pull it through the arms over the shoulders when you get it to the shoulder kind of straighten it 
give it a little tug to bring the shoulder section all the way up. This, uh, the shirt is a little bit tight on them, um, but again, I don't think that that's bad. I think that works for Wolverine uh, in general, because again, he's a big dude and he looked pretty big in the movie. So I'm happy with that size. So just pull that up, give it a little yank till you get it kind of coming through the little sleeve area. And then again, just kind of futz with this, pull that out. Kind of just get it sitting in him kind of straight. And again, I like the wrinkles that are on here because it gives it a dirty look. I'm going to pull his pants down a little just so I can tuck his shirt in. Uh, one thing I do like about this also is that uh, you got buttons kind of going down here. Uh, but that's attached via Velcro. So you can Velcro that down and it looks good. And then you have one button at the top. You just lock that in. And then I like kind of leaving that rotated and around rotate that around just pull down the shirt and then pull the pants up under over the shirt as you would a normal pair of dress pants and dress shirts I mean, it's not that difficult right so just futz with this a little bit and as I just kind of tuck it under there, I don't want to get it too perfect. Uh, like if, if I were getting dressed, obviously it would be a li little bit more you know fancy looking, but I want him to look uh, sloppy. So uh, do that, and then you pull that zipper across like that, and give that a little tug and make sure that's nice and straight. And then we loop the belt in. And like I said, I, I want to to have a, a little bit of a sloppy look because that's kind of the way his character was in the movie a uh, little bit less caring of his appearance tuck that little belt section uh, come on there we go tuck that in there so again just kind of pull this a little to the side make it look like I said a little sloppy not too bad, but uh, definitely a grungy kind of look. And you can see that coming through very nicely. Now, he also does come with a pair of boots with the kit. Uh, this is actually one of the most impressive pieces in the suit. Uh, very dirty and grimy looking, which one of the first scenes that we see of him is him stepping out of his car and you see his boots and i like the wear on here really dirty really grimy uh, you can see sculpted in laces which i don't think look all that bad pretty decent and then these are just little ball joints now like i said this body comes with the feet here so you're gonna have to pop these feet off but uh, for this you just bring this in give that a nice little squeeze lock that in Bring the little oh, a little string right there. Bring that in. Lock that on that ball joint. There we go. Is that in there? Yeah, it feels like it's in there. Okay. So again, now we're straightening all this out. So you can see the uh, the look is really coming together very very nicely on this guy. I'm, I'm loving it. Now you also do have the option of putting on a tie. Um, I don't think I'm going to because I like the, the open the top collar thing. I mean, I guess I could kind of put it there and loop it around and still keep it an open collar. But I think I'm just going to leave this off for now. But then he also does come with his outer jacket, which, again, we saw a lot in, in the beginning part of the movie. So just rotate these arms back. And then this can be a little bit tricky because, and it's the case with every, even Hot Toy figure, when you're trying to put a jacket over clothing already. So just feed this through as best as you can, pulling on it. Get that up and in, and then rotate that down and kind of pull it up. And then reach in here because he did have his uh, cuffs kind of coming through the jacket down at the bottom so kind of want to reach in there make sure you get that pulled out a little bit so something like that there we go do that on this side as well kind of pull this up and over the shoulder there we go let's see here kind of reach in here get his foot out of your line of sight <laughs> and 
kind of play with this just like I said you want to pull this through just to complete that look so get your finger in there ah, just wiggle that out there we go just wiggle that to the outer section like that and then kind of push that arm down get the collar popped a little kind of rotate that kind of flex that around to work it in and get the articulation kind of situated but there you have the body now the body itself looks really cool i mean it's very nice and accurate to what we saw in the movie and for the suit and body gang hood did a terrific job but to complete the look we really need an accurate representation of how hugh jackman looked in the logan movie and i think 11 has done an amazing job with this now moving this off to the side this is the 11 head sculpt and while not 100 percent it's definitely noticeable as hugh jackman as logan and one thing i mean if you look real close kind of focus on that i love how they even got scars sculpted into his face there i mean just the intensity in the eyes is there i think the beard looks really nice you got the wrinkles there in his little forehead got a little bit of gray if i were to make a you know, suggestion maybe they could have put a little bit more gray hair in there as it is it's lighter and it's looking lighter with my lights but the sculpt and portrait i think is really phenomenal on this now for a comparison here is that Hugh Jackman sculpt from Hot Toys from the Wolverine figure. And I, I really, when I'm looking at it, I don't think either of these are 100%. But I think both do a pretty good job and are recognizable as Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. But what's amazing is this is a third party. And it looks as good as anything Hot Toys has done. I mean, I'm simply blown away by the texture the paint the you know, sculpting on it all really well done by these guys and to complete the look for that all you do is just slide this on uh, give this a nice little push to cover that ugly joint thing that i had going on up at the top and again kind of pull this up a bit pull his shirt down some and there you have them uh, i mean how awesome is that i mean really to me that captures that look now again i don't have the the shirt on here all that great um the neck kind of futz with it a little but <laughs> fidgeting with this some just to kind of get the suit looking good on the body but to be honest we, we gotta put the claws on them just for the final look so again just kind of lift these up and give those a nice little push to lock these in uh, if you have a hot toys ones the kind of joint system right here will fit for the hot toys one as well so you can like i said just use those same claws that you uh, had if you have another one or you can buy those separately give those a nice little push and <laughs> i mean that is truly awesome i mean it is Without a doubt, uh, Wolverine from the Logan movie. I, I just think it is that wicked awesome. I'm tremendously impressed by this. I don't like these claws. I don't know why the Hot Toy ones are so bad like that now all of a sudden. But <laughs> honestly, for me though, while this looks good, I am probably going to use the bone claws that came with the uh, original Wolverine figure. Uh, I think that those, I just, I, I don't know. As a personal preference, I like the bone claw look for Old Man Logan. So um, let me swap these for my uh, personal taste. Uh, I mean, for me, I'm old school in the fact that Magneto pulled out the adamantium from, from Wolverine's body, and I kind of like him having the bone claws. I mean, it, it happened in the Wolverine movie, you, you, you know, where we, we saw the bone claws and everything, so it's not too bad, but uh, I mean, I just, I kind of dig that overall uh, presence. Now, the complaint that I have seen for this, and I don't know if it's warranted. I mean, I think that the sculpt is still really good, uh, but I probably would have liked an angry face. Um, this is, I need to futz with this to get this to sit down a little bit more along his body. Uh, like an angry face would have been awesome because as it is, you're going to do 
something, you know, in, in terms of a action pose, you're going to get him, you know, all posed up and angry looking. And I'm not really good at posing. You guys know that. But his face is kind of neutral. So it's... You know, I could see where people would complain about the, the portrait and wanting a different expression. But I think that the portrait that's on him is really, really very good. This guy, like I said, is a wonderful representation of uh, Logan from from the movie. Now, in terms of a, a Hot Toys comparison, let me get him standing up here. Decent uh, size. Let's do that. Get that straightened. Uh, here's my little ruler. Well, it's not little, but uh, you can see he comes in at almost exactly 12 inches tall, which is perfect. And here's the official Hot Toys one. And again, uh, you just look at the body, and that's one of the biggest differences, I really think. When you just look at these two night and day, uh, obviously the one on the left here, that being the third party one, uh, or a combination of third party ones, he just looks bulkier and taller and then he, i mean his pants like don't even fit he's just way too small of a body i think and just a vastly better looking figure or the third party one is just a vastly better looking figure now as impressive as this entire set is the most impressive aspect is how much i paid for it as i said i picked up mine on a site called one sixth kit and there were three separate pieces that I had to buy the body the outfit and the portrait but everything that you see here minus that display stand all of this shipped cost me only a hundred and thirteen dollars I know people are gonna be like only well when you consider that if this was a hot toy figure this would be a two hundred and fifty dollar piece I'm absolutely blown away now people will be like well this is proof that hot toys you can sell their stuff for cheaper no that's not how it works this is unlicensed so number one they don't have to pay the studio to make this number two they don't have to pay hugh jackman to create a portrait those two things alone can easily push the price way higher so don't come at me with you know whole argument that hot toys should be able to do it for the same price when uh, third party companies can do it blah 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 no that's really uh, you know kind of comparing you know, apples and oranges it's not the same but for 113 dollars i'm blown away the body is really well done yes some of the paint rubs but obviously as you see when you cover it up you're not going to see that I didn't have to buy, you know, clawed hands or anything, but it did come with several hands just by itself, which is nice. Luckily, I did have a couple different Wolverine ones where I can swap these out. So that would have to be an additional cost. But again, still way below anything that you would pay for an official one. The suit, the tailoring on it, oh, well, other than that, uh, is absolutely amazing. I'm really impressed with it. And, and I'm really loving these boots. The amount of detail that they got in those is really very nice. And then that portrait right there is spectacular. When you put it all together, you get a really cool looking piece that, I, honestly, I don't know why Hot Toys hasn't done it. They obviously have done other Wolverine figures in the past. I don't know why they haven't done this now. And you would think that we would have gotten a pre-order or some kind of inclination at San Diego Comic-Con or something, but we haven't gotten anything. So if we don't, this is a wonderful alternative. And if they do, at least this you know, fills in that gap in our uh, display for a little while. Either way, this is a great set. And without question, if you're a fan of Wolverine or the Logan movie, X-Men, anything like that, I would absolutely recommend picking this up. So if all this looks good to you and you'd like to add it to your collection, I'm going to put a link down in the video description to the 1 6th kit website where you can search and you can find all the parts and stuff to make this guy. And while you're there, if you do order it, let them know that I sent you. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. It's free and you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you get those email notifications. 
We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is. And the best way to make sure that you get my videos is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other. And you could have it all. Dirt. I will let you